Um, can I broadcast you to my small audience? Yeah. There's only like five people with us, but... Thank you. Um, everybody, Isaac has agreed to let his voice be heard. Hopefully he's loud enough. Thanks. Um, I had a bad day, man. I, uh, woke up with you on my brain. Okay. Um, do you remember you were on Nathan's show yesterday? Do I remember yesterday? Yes, I remember yesterday. Um, there was this part where you said that, uh, like, where's the logic? And, like, you know, all these people come at you with these crazy allegations, accusations. Yeah. And you're like, like, where's the logic? Where's the logic? And, like, honestly, man, I think those things got planted in my mind as seeds, right? And then I went to bed, and when I woke up this morning, I saw the logic. And, uh... So I went through a bunch of the the bunch of your interviews on Lift the Veil and such, and um, I pieced it together in my head, and then I made the video about it, and then the people told me to go ahead and talk to you in person. Okay. Well, here we are. What are you, what are your questions? All right. Um, do you remember when uh, when you first came out at the Comic Con? Yes. That. That's uh, that's how this feels for me right now. Okay, so I'm sorry. Well, that... if you're nervous at all, don't be nervous. We're just having a conversation. Okay. Um, this is heavy because because if I'm right, it's bad news. So so I'll, I'll I'll lay it out and I'll let you walk me back. Um, well, d oh, no, I need to ask you the hard questions. Yeah, ask away, dude. That's why I make myself available. So ask away. Okay. Um, does truth matter to you? Very much so. Where do you... Who do you think, aside from you, um, truth matters the most to? Because uh, for, for me, it's the people it's, at Truth Revolution Clothing. And... All right. I don't know who they are. All I can speak you, for it's is Nathan myself. and them. It's Nathan and them, Cappy. It's the shirts they sell. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, when's the last time you were in the same room with Seth? Uh, last year. When was it? Probably last. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Definitely last year, though. Uh, were you inside or outside at the time? Uh, probably inside and outside. Was it when you guys were digging? No, no, no. Or I saw him after that. After that, okay. Yeah. I'm a member of a secret society called the the Sacred Order of Foolish Transparency. Are you the member of any secret societies? I am not. Are you currently in the initiation to join a secret society? I am not. Okay. Well, I don't really like the idea of secret societies. Well, this, this is how it came out, okay? You, uh, your friends wigged you out because, by letting you know they were into pedophilia. And then you were approached to join the Illuminati, correct? Yeah. Um, while most people think you coming forward is a rejection of that offer, all the times you said, look at their tactics, and all the times you said, what's my motivation? Why would I do, why would I expose myself to this? Why would I take all this flack? Um, why would I do that to myself? And this morning the answer came to me that because the bad guys have to tell us what they're doing and so everything you said was true and you have to be the scapegoat that runs out and tells everyone and that well, when you I leave can the... Well, I tell you, speculation is wrong. All right, well, <laughs> as far as it goes... When there's when there when people question uh, what's your motivation, that's one that would work. That's one that what? 
that that's one that would work that in order to get into the Illuminati you would have to come out and tell them all the horrible things that are actually being done and then have nothing happen uh I I mean I don't I mean I just, you know speculation uh really they what they want is blackmail material that's what they want that's the name of the game is blackmail I don't know why it would uh, strengthen their position if I go after, you know, people who are my really fucking good friends at one point. Uh, it makes no sense. I mean, it makes sense to you, and that's whatever, but that's why we're having this conversation, right? Yeah, the fact that we're having this conversation is weird, too. You know, it's like, why would would you take calls from anybody unless you had to? But... My theory was also that you wouldn't be able to... I'll, I'll tell you why, if you want to know. And, you know yeah, please, you go ahead. Because I realized early on that, A, it would be very confusing for me to come out, um, you know, and people would have questions. So I've been very transparent because people make up shit about me every day on the Internet. Um, so I'm, I'm just here for people to be like, oh, if you have an idea, why don't you just call me and we'll talk it out. I'm glad, man, because I want you to be a good guy so hard. But everything I was... Everything that clicked was clicking the wrong direction this morning. Uh, do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember when you were on Titus the other night? Uh, Last Saturday or something? With Nathan and Titus, yeah, but yeah. Did you know you you took your bite into your piece of pizza right when that man said Podesta? Oh, I'm not aware. I'm yeah, aware so, of that. so to people that are like really high on the marijuana, that's super crazy conspicuous you get. <laughs> I mean, I think people read too much into uh, stuff and don't use their logic enough. Uh, that's what I think. I think people on the internet are like, oh, but wait, but wait. So I call them conspiracy hard because, you know, they're just taking everything to a ridiculous level. Uh, you know, when I was on Titus, I had been working all day and I hadn't eaten. And uh, I was like, eh, I'll just eat. It's like, uh, I'm... I'm just saying the timing was was freaking me out. But um, I see so you game. You play D and D, right? What? You play D and D, or you no. used to? Oh, no. I, I thought you guys had the game nights. What kind of games did you play? Mafia. Uh, I Can't really get a group of hot girls in Hollywood to play D and D. I mean, that's kind of a tough sell. Oh, critical Role would disagree with you, but I hear you. I hear you. Well, those are my concerns, yeah, man. Played Sometimes we played running Th Those are my chief concerns, and like, if I was right, you wouldn't have been able to lie to me about it. So clearly, I was wrong. But thanks for well, coming. Yeah, of course. and you know, look, the thing is, I knew it was going to be ridiculous, and I knew I was going to be getting shit. I did not realize. I got to say, the worst part about it, uh, me going public, has been the so-called truth community. Um, there's a lot of bad actors in the truth community, but beyond that, there's a lot of people who are just like looking to, for the next big story. Uh, like this random rant of Brian guy was like, Oh, but wait, Isaac did a film with trauma. Is Isaac working with trauma? I'm like, yeah, uh, that makes no sense. You know? So that's why I'm here to address concerns. All right. Well, um, I hope, I hope everything goes well then. Thank you for taking my call, sir. Yeah, of course, man. Have a great day. You too. Cheers. Bye. Well then, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Old Grim just had too much of the cannabis. That's all. Probably. Hopefully. Because otherwise, it's sad. Um, thank you for, <laughs> thank you to everyone who joined me on this journey to the edge of, ah, you can't hear the music. Thank you to everyone who joined me on this journey to the edge of the LARP gate. And a special thank you to Isaac Cappy for 
addressing my questions and concerns.